we are not so worried about that, you know. How did yeah. the both of you become motivational speakers? Or? Like for myself, uh, I was a seminar junkie. Okay. Oh, really? Seminar junkie. Seminar junkie. Yeah. I, I like that first one. I used to go from one seminar to one seminar until I went to one seminar in uh, in Singapore right. where they had actually to walk over fire, you know, this one, one program. Mm. And actually that changed my whole uh, my course of life where I say I want, I'm passionate to help others. I want to share my knowledge because we went, I went to so many challenges in my life mm -hmm. and how can I help others? From that on, I started to actually become a trainer and learn from different different uh, people and learn whatever they, the, the things that they're good at and I apply in my training. Mm -hmm. But the, the principle yeah. is love for others. I don't do things just for the money, but mm. uh, the love of helping others. And that really changes everything. People, they can feel your sincerity and they, they, would, they will open up to you. Even the hardest people that I've seen, students who, mm. they, even in the class, they say all the bad words, mm. but after the class, they will treat you like a friend. They will ask you personal questions which they will never ask. Maybe some certain type of people, they never ask, but they can come to you and open because you are sincere to, to them. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And that's the skill altogether. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. acquiring trust from those people. Mm. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you want okay, to, to add something? Yeah. How, how did I how did I end up also? Yeah. Um, a, a lot of um, I, I went through a lot of uh, challenges also in my life in terms of business, and um, I had a lot of uh, anger, frustration, and uh -huh. how how um, I dealt with it was maybe through my the, the seminars that I joined. I learned, and I also. Uh, uh, a lot, a lot of help came from my husband, who yeah. encourages me. You know, sometimes when we focus towards the negative, and he yeah. will like talk, talk me out of it, and focus on so what you guys can motivate to... each other. Too. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> you guys meet at a seminar? No, we met at Toastmasters. Okay. Toastmasters. We were just yeah. Toastmasters. Yeah. Toastmasters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Toastmasters, yeah. yeah, Toastmasters. Yeah. And I couldn't speak a word at that time when I joined mm. Toastmasters. I was so scared. I had yeah. so many, uh, f so much fear yeah. to yeah. talk in front of people. Yeah. Right. Even like this, I, I, w I would be like, you know, I'd be so scared. Um, what happened was uh, I realized it's not about the skills techniques because I read a lot of books, yeah. I, I learn a lot, yeah. I, know, I, I watch a lot of people, I try to copy them, mm. but it doesn't happen, right? Yeah. So what I, what I realized is nothing to do with skills, it has a lot to do with us internally. Sure. And that's when I started to address my issues, I released a lot of my own personal baggages yeah. and I suddenly come out, I flew. And yeah. that was when I realized I could reach out to. And whenever I feel a certain fear, yeah. I say then I, I know that I have to do it. You know, then that means it's something I, I have to overcome mm, myself. Yeah. And when I do it, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. so that's how it is. Allow next, training, next challenge. Yeah. And you're training those who have yeah. lost hope also. She's so. very different now. The last, uh, when we got married, she was a bit, uh, say, uptight because of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now she's, now she's so, I'm, I'm so happy to be with her because she's so relaxed and, you know, she, and I'm so proud of her oh, because a lot you. of, uh, you know, like to train prisoners, male prisoners, it's no, it's no joke. Yeah, no, it's uh, not even not. I had, didn't have the courage to do it at first, but she actually stand up to the challenge and she went in and...